it's me, Ashley, and I thought today we could talk about the water cycle. Now you guys might remember from during the school year we talked about the water cycle, but now that we're home, I thought we could talk about it again. So I have this poster and it's labeled water cycle. And this is how all of the water in the world gets transported around the world because there is no such thing as new water. All the water on our planet has been here since the dinosaurs. So if you go wash your hands right now, the water coming out of your faucet might be the water a dinosaur drank because the water on our planet is always going through a cycle. There's no such thing as new water. It's always the same water going through this cycle and it's called the water cycle. And we're gonna read a story called The Many Adventures of Drippy the Raindrop. So Drippy is made of water, which means he goes through the water cycle. So in this story, we're gonna go through every step of the water cycle. And while we're reading, I wanna show you one more thing. So I have this water cycle poster and I have this little balloon that I drew a face on and this is gonna be our Drippy. And as I'm reading the story, I'm gonna move Drippy around where he is in this poster in the water cycle. So I'm gonna put Drippy right here for now and put that over here. And I have two Drippy the Water Droplet books. This is the video for the longer of the two. So, The Many Adventures of Drippy the Raindrop. Drippy the Raindrop was having fun. He was busy doing his favorite thing, floating on the ocean. Looking up, he smiled at his friend, Mr. Sun, who had just come up. So if you look at our poster, there's Mr. Sun in the sky and Drippy is starting in the water. That's where he's beginning his journey. As the day wore on, Mr. Sun rose higher and higher in the sky. Drippy became hot, very hot. I'm hot, said Drippy. Suddenly, Drippy noticed a cloud moving across the sky. Drippy said to himself, that cloud sure looks nice and it is so hot down here. I wish I could fly up to it and cool off. And just like that, he was flying. Up, up, up in the sky to this cloud, Drippy was evaporating. Look at him flying up. And that is our first water cycle word. The first thing in the water cycle is evaporation. Can you guys say that at home? Evaporation, nice job. So my Drippy is going up, up, up to evaporation. Now let's see where he's gonna go next. Soon, Drippy landed on a cloud. He was greeted by another water droplet. Ahoy there, I'm Captain Salty, said the other water droplet. It looks like you and I are going through the water cycle together. They shook hands. Condensation is my favorite step in the water cycle, confessed Captain Salty. It is so nice becoming part of a cloud with other water droplets like you and riding this cloud is sort of like steering a ship. So I just heard another water cycle word. Captain Salty just said he loves to form a cloud during condensation. So can you guys say at home, condensation? Great job. So Drippy is going up, up, up to this cloud because he is part of condensation now with Captain Salty. So let's see what's gonna happen next. Where is this cloud headed, asked Drippy. We're sailing there, said Captain Salty, pointing to a range of mountains in the distance. It looks like a storm's a brewing. You know what that means, Captain Salty asked Drippy. Does it mean we get to visit those mountains, Drippy asked excitedly. Oh yes. It's time to become rain, sleet, hail, or snow. We have reached the next step in the water cycle, precipitation. Our cloud is too full. 
we should really jump back down to earth before things start to get rough. So, in our picture, we're no longer on a white fluffy cloud. Drippy is on this dark storm cloud and he's about to come out of it as precipitation. Can you guys say that word at home? Great job. So precipitation is when anything comes out of the clouds, rain, snow, hail, or sleet are all precipitation. So Drippy's still in that storm cloud, but he's about to jump off and come down to the ground as precipitation. No sooner than had Captain Salty warned Drippy, things got rough. The cloud began to bounce. Drippy got ready to jump and turned and waved goodbye to the captain. So he's jumping down. That means he's going to be precipitation. Jumping from his cloud, Drippy fell with the rain towards the ground. Oh, so his type of precipitation is rain. Goodbye, lad. Happy journey to you, shouted Captain Salty as he went. So he's going down, down, down as precipitation. So we'll put him right there since he's going down. Trippy looked down as he fell. He saw a stream winding through the forest in the mountains below. That would be a soft place to land, thought Trippy. But Trippy just missed the stream and landed on a tree next to it. Bouncing from branch to branch, he dripped all the way to the ground. Whoopee, shouted Trippy. You see him bouncing around, jumping from the branches. Sliding down a rock, Drippy gently fell into the stream he had seen from above. Hurrah, said Drippy. This should be a fun ride. So Drippy made it to the stream. So I'm going to take him from the sky and put him right about there because he made it to the stream that he wanted to land on. The rain stopped. Ah, said Drippy as he floated along breathing in the fresh mountain air and the smell of the pine trees. Drippy had floated his way back to the ocean where other water droplets will join him in a process called collection. This is the life, he exclaimed. So that is our last water cycle word, collection. Can you guys say that at home? Great job. So we've got Drippy and here's the word collection. So collection is just when all of the rain that came down is collected back in a big body of water, like an ocean or the lake, and it's getting ready to start the water cycle again. Because the cool thing about the water cycle is it never stops. When Drippy gets to a part in the story, he's just waiting before he goes to the next part. And the water cycle is always going in a circle or a cycle. It is always going around, all day, every day, forever. So our friend Drippy made it all the way to the bottom of the picture. He made it back to where he started because the water cycle is a cycle. So he ends where he started. And you wanna see something cool? The book ends with him saying, this is the life. But because it's a cycle, if I wanted to keep going, I could flip back to the first page and start reading and it'll still make sense. I could just keep going in this book and never let it end and it'll still make sense because the water cycle is always going in a cycle. I really like the drippy stories and I hope you guys did too. So now that we've finished learning about the water cycle, click the water cycle activity video to do an experiment with me. Bye guys, I'll see you later. Oh,